Steve, you know, I had to have you back because when you were here with us last time, I know you had your lovely wife, Dela, uh -huh. and she was here with us, and the two of you, interestingly enough, you went down all the way to the gutter. You were cooking meth and using meth and using meth and everything about meth, and you ended up with all the uh, sores, what yeah, are they, crank sores? Dela, yeah, you ended up with yeah. crank sores. Yeah. yeah, and you were talking about that, and I was so excited to have the two of you, but you went down to the gutter, and of course, Christ is what brought you back, yep. full circle, and you're, you're still married today, and yes. that's so awesome. So many people end up losing their life and us losing their spouse and everything, yep. but it didn't work out like that no, for amen. you praise the Lord amen. but you know you had such an incredible testimony not only that but your book I didn't even get a chance to really get into it and and how you and why you started using meth and and what was your life like so take us into that that moment uh, before you got where you are today and, um, and following Christ how I got into meth was uh, you know it started off I was using other drugs before meth and in the late 80s and the early 90s the cocaine supply in the United States was really cut off for a little while. And what showed up on the scene and has been here ever since is methamphetamine in its production. Right. 